Hi everybody, yeah, welcome back. Uh, yeah, firstly, apologies for a bit of a hiatus the last couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, we've actually been away on holidays, which has been bloody good. Um, we had not quite three weeks off and uh, yeah, headed up into Queensland, up onto the coast to the warmer weather and yeah, spent a week or so on the beach and yeah, no, had a good look around. So we're uh, yeah, back at it now. So. Uh, Lake Avondans is back, it's wet, we are, um, we're really wet, so the bean, I'm not actually sure, I haven't had an add up of what actual rain we've had since we've been away, but it's, uh, you know, they had another, I think Tony said another 11 mil at the start of the week, and they've got more rain forecast for today, it's not super cold, but it's, um, yeah, it is, it is, we're, we're very wet underfoot, so, um, paddock traffic abilities pretty well non-existent now on the cropping paddocks anyway um, we did get the plane in uh, I think I men mentioned a couple of videos ago we were going to get the plane in so we did get the plane in to do that bit of top dressing and uh, yeah what sort of we're not going to be able to get a lot of spraying done now for a while which I mean it is what it is but I've had a bit of a cruise around this morning and yeah look the crops are look fantastic so we're, we're set up pretty well going forward the I think the the weatherman is talking a uh, El Nino, so it's it will stop raining apparently at some stage. Um, but yeah, for the time being, you know, we could we could actually dare I say it, we could actually take a a fortnight or three weeks of, of clear weather just to let let everything catch up a little bit. Um, yeah, so that getting back to our trip, uh, that little clip I showed you, that was uh, we called in and saw some friends um, just over the Queensland border. And that little um, unit is, uh, it's a swarm bot unit. So it's its an autonomous, autonomous, uh, I don't know whether you call it a tractor or sort of power unit. Um, so it's run by a little three cylinder diesel engine and um, the power wheels are hydro hydraulically driven. Um, and then on the back of it, it's got a, a little haze, um, spot well, camera unit um boom spray 12 meter boom spray um so yeah just have a look and i'll um yeah I'll talk to you about what it actually does and how it all works Has it got a sensor out on the point of the boom? Or?
doesn't clear the booms, swing it up, it doesn't upset it. The camera's too much? No, I've never seen it. It's supposed to come on when you get too loud. What's to do, one or two? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, you're in the back. pretty quick. All right, so when it left that was headed off, headed off there just on dark, it was actually tra gonna travel about two and a half kilometers um, down, to, down to where it needed to start spraying. So uh, Gus who owns the machine or he actually leases the machine, they've got a few different um, sort of programs you can either lease them and I think you can actually now uh, buy them outright um, but yeah he's got his ho whole farm mapped um, you know, farm tracks everything and it's all controlled through an app on his phone um, the technology has got better as um, as they've sort of been going along but um, yeah he was just showing me he had had each paddock individually mapped and look there was a bit of work in setting it up but um, now that he's got it Got it fine-tuned, I think he's always fine-tuning it, but um, yeah, it sort of <coughs> gets around now with 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 uh, yeah, fair bit of ease and, and very little drama. Um, so the unit itself, uh, it's done about 3,400 hours in, in 12 months um, with that, what they call a camera sprayer. So um, you would have seen in that last video the the jet the nozzles coming on and off so with look at our boom spray that we've got here um it's just a complete blanket spray so um i turn it all the gps turns it on and then when you get to the end of the run it turns it off so what that sprayer is doing um it's got the uh, nozzles are 25 centimeter spacings now i hope i get all this right it was a couple of weeks ago so hopefully i can remember but the nozzles are 25 centimeters apart um and then it's got a camera that hangs above those nozzles. I don't know, there'd be, I think there might be one camera to um, three or four nozzles, something like that. Um, yeah, so it's essentially um, recognising the green weed on the ground and then activating those nozzles to 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 put the chemical out. So. Um, quite efficient very efficient you can buy them in a broad acre unit which is obviously you know 36 meters wide that unit itself is only 12 meters wide um, and it's got about a 1500 litre uh, 12 or 1500 litre tank on it I think Gus said um, so but where the efficiency come in comes in rather than spraying the whole paddock um, it's only spraying I think he's averaging so far in the time he's, the hours that machine's done he's averaging about 33 or 4 percent coverage um, so you know 1500 litres tank um, can go a fair way um, and it it runs essentially runs 24 hours a day um, got a lot of fail safes on it it'll pull up you know and stop 
and sends a, sends a message back to his phone to say, I'm in trouble, I'm bogged, I'm, you know, uh, something like that. Uh, the, the night we were there, we were just having a few beers and some dinner on the deck at his house and you could see the lights, got a heap of lights on it flashing away and you could see it working in the distance, distance and then it's actually got a built-in built, on, built in weather station and he had parameters set so once the wind dropped below two kilometres an hour the machine shuts down so um, for whatever reason it wouldn't start up again in the morning so that's how we, we jumped in the car and went up and had a look at it and restarted it and, and then why it went but um, you can see that video at the end yeah it's just as it's travelling along it only travels at about six, between six and eight kilometres an hour um, so not super quick when we spray with the main Bruce, our main boom spray or Gus himself, he's also got a, a, a boom spray, you know, a broad acre boom spray. Um, yeah, he, look, we spray at about 18 to 20 kilometres an hour. So it's it's quite quite slow, but because, you know, it's not manned, um, it's able to, yeah, you're sort of getting that efficiency out. So he sort of reckons, you know, with the work that it has done, you know, he'd probably have worn, worn a tractor out and, you know, half a dozen blokes sitting on that tractor just with, with the country it's crossed. So, um, so yeah, the theory is like why they don't have bigger booms is you can have more of those units. So it's like it's, it's branded a swarm bot, like it's Australian designed and Australian made built in Emerald in Queensland. I'm pretty sure it's emerald. Um, yeah, so the theory is you could have multiples of those little units um, spraying. Uh, but, um, but yeah, Gus has just got the 112 metre one and he's found that's been, I think he's got about 9,000 acres there, um, a cropping block there that they're using it on and he's just found that that, yeah, the, the 12 metre one, um, he was sort of potentially going, talking about going to a, uh, an 18 metre um, but yeah, for the moment he's sort of thinking the 12 metres is probably, probably going to be going to be efficient enough. So, but yeah, that's just I just we we came across that. Um, I just sort of show you guys that uh, where things are, are headed. Um, they're not going to. I don't think there's um, the time. I don't. I don't I'm, us as farmers aren't going to come completely obsolete just yet. Um, but it just shows. You know, I had someone have a crack at me the other day. Um, in the comments about you know, um, you know, dousing everything with chemical and all the rest of it. Well, this is this is the this is the steps that we're taking to sort of, you know, improve. One, we're not dousing everything with chemical. It was a it was a, a very strange message that the person sent me. So, but anyway, um, I was polite and and factual with my response but uh yeah anyway this sort of it's just it's cutting edge technology and it's and it's efficiency efficiency um sort of thing so both with you know um labor savings but also um we're not putting the amount of chemical on um you're only putting the chemical where it needs to be rather than a you know a broad brush putting it across everything so Anyway, so yeah, look, apologies again, but I needed a holiday and um, uh, I was hoping I might have been able to get a couple of videos up while, while we're away, but it sort of didn't happen. So, but anyway, we'll, um, we'll have a look around the next few days and, and show you what's going on. Um, yeah, a bit of stuff in the pipeline of just for planning and, and um, summer crop and that sort of stuff. So uh, anyway, stick around and um, yeah, keep watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-da.